Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can add an H5, an H6, and multiple other heading types to your Squarespace website, and how to customize the style of those heading types with code. All the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and if we hop into edit mode, I want to show you that in this text block right here, I have the four different types of headings. We have heading one, heading two, heading three, and heading four, which I changed using the text editor bar right here in Squarespace. But to add additional heading types, we need to use a different type of content block known as a markdown. I'm going to select add block, and I'll choose the markdown option. Now let's make this a little larger and I'll pull it over to the side of the screen here so we can see it next to our text. I'm going to double click on this markdown block and it opens up a very simple editor. Now markdown language is actually very easy to understand. If I use the hashtag simple followed by the word heading one, you'll notice this is going to match my heading one style. They're not quite in alignment here, so I'm going to drag this over so you can see. That's the exact same font size and weight and everything. This is now a heading one. And we can do more. Two hashtags creates a heading two. Three creates a heading three. And I'm sure you see where this is going. Four is going to create a heading four. And now we can add more. Let's go ahead and do five for a heading five example. And we'll do six for a heading six. And there we go. Now I'm gonna zoom in on this for you because I want you to see how different the style is for heading five and heading six. They're very tiny, the font weight is different, and the line height is pretty big. All of that can be customized with code. I'll select save and exit, and on the left-hand side of the screen, we're gonna navigate to the pages menu, and then I want you to select website tools, and then custom CSS. This is where we can add code that's going to change the style of those particular heading types. I can say H5, font size, how about 30px? And instantly it's gonna be a lot bigger. Now that heading five is very bold, so maybe I just want it to be font weight normal. We can change it like that. And I can also completely change it to a different font family if I want. Maybe we wanna use the font family of a serif font, and maybe we want it to be text transform, uppercase. There are so many different options for how we style that type of heading. You can use any font or text property that you're comfortable with, but there are three that I want to make sure we highlight. We've got font size, font weight, and the third one that I want to address I haven't typed yet, and that's line height. Watch what happens when I change the line height to 5px. Line height is something that's going to be very important for whatever you adjust the font size to be. So I'll remove these extra ones that were just for fun. And again, the three I want you to focus on are font size, font weight, and line height. Now we also have an H6 here. Let's make this one a wild card. We'll change the font family on this one to another font I've installed on my site, which is Sale. And let's go ahead and change the font size to something a little larger, maybe like 40px. It's almost off the screen there, but you get the idea. Super duper customizable. I'll go ahead and select Save, and I'll show you one more time here in edit mode how we actually add this through a markdown block. If I double click on the markdown block, you'll see we have all of the headings here. Let me just remove the first four so we're down to heading five and heading six. Now if I enter a new line, this is automatically going to type as my paragraph font. To make sure that this is also a heading five, I'd need to add the five hashtags at the beginning and a space. Notice it instantly changes after that. If you don't start with those hashtag symbols, it will stay as paragraph font displayed there inside the markdown block with your other headings. Definitely good information to know. But after you've added the text that you want there, make sure that you hop into your custom CSS panel to customize the style of the new heading types that you now have in your Squarespace website. Now, technically, there's one other way that you can add a heading five and heading six to Squarespace, and I'll show you that really quick before we call this a wrap. I'm gonna hop into edit mode, and I'm going to add a code block. Inside a code block, which I will pull over to the right-hand side of the screen, we can add any HTML we want to a page in our Squarespace website. So if I double-click on this content block, I can add code that reads as an H5 and H6. I'll start with the left caret and say H5, and then I'll say this is a heading five, and then as soon as I close that bracket, I can also add a H6 directly underneath it. This is a heading 
six, and we'll close that bracket as well. And I realize my contents in front of the code. There we go. Now we can see what's happening. You can see the line height is definitely messing some things up, but we do have the customization here for our heading six. And the codes that we added for our custom CSS apply to both the markdown and the code block. Personally, I find markdown a lot easier to type into. So this is the method that I prefer, but I wanted to show you the code block here just so you could see what happens when we add this text as HTML to our Squarespace website. And there you have it, my friend, two different options for adding those different types of heading text to your Squarespace website. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments and check out some of the other content I have in the description below, because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's insidethesquare.co.